Hey guys and welcome back to another video. For today's video, I am doing a pack with me. Um, in case you didn't watch my last video, you would not know that I am going on a 20 plus hour road trip with my two kids. My son is two, my daughter is one, and we are traveling with my mom. Really quickly, just to give you a backstory, my dad lives out of state and my mom goes to visit him when I'm off for vacation because she usually is here watching my kids when I'm, me and my husband are at work. Um, I started summer break and so now I am actually choosing to go visit my dad with my kids, which I'm super nervous for, but I'm trying to have high hopes. I want to document this experience and just bring you guys along with it in case you are also a mom, maybe even a single mom and you're wanting to travel, but you might be nervous. I'm just going to share this vlog and document this experience for my sake and for anyone else that this might help. Um, for today, I'm actually going to be sharing with you guys all the snacks that I bought for the kids. A couple things in here for me, but really this is all just for the kids to have on the ride there and on the flight back. So we are driving there, which is 20 plus hours, and we are going to be flying back later next week. Um, which is a total of four hour flying, but we have a two hour layover So we have a six hour traveling back experience Which is coming back. I don't have my mom. It's just me. So Once again, I'm gonna do my best to document all of this. I don't know how I feel about taking my camera with me um, But I'm gonna try to vlog here and there when I can if I can we'll see but today I'm I'm showing you guys the snacks and possibly packing my air clothes later tonight either either today or tomorrow i don't know but you guys will see this vlog next week and if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below thank you guys so much for watching and let's get started all right now that you guys have the backstory you kind of understand now how i'm going to be packing our stuff so i have this crate that i got from costco and i'm actually planning to put their snacks in there kind of like a little travel pantry but i'm also going to be packing their toys a couple toys and books in there as well and obviously i'm not going to fly back with that item my mom's going to be bringing back stuff when she comes back sometime next month and so things that i'm not worried about her holding on to i'm just going to leave with her and she can bring it back whenever she comes back and i'm also bringing a small ice chest with um, ice and some of the things that i bought so here i'm starting off with their water bottles gotta have both of their water bottles um, even if they share one, I just rather have enough water for them to stay hydrated during the trip and obviously while we are there. Um, I also got them apple strawberry fruit puree. It's a 12 pack. This will be going in the ice chest. I got them some Honest Kid fruit juice. Um, this is a 8 pack going in the ice chest. Um, I got them some fruit ropes in the flavor wild berry, which is an 8 pack. Um, from the same brand, I got some strawberry snacks, which are like little fruit pouches or packs of fruit. And this is a 10 pack. For myself, I've been wanting some of these sour strips, so I grabbed some. Honestly, one's going to be gone before we even leave. Um, I think I'm going to save this rainbow one for the trip. I got them a 12 pack of goldfish six pack of veggie straws and I also got some pretzels I got the pretzel crisp I would have liked to have gotten the regular pretzels but they just had like the big bags and I wanted the little travel packs just because I'm not trying to be like giving them handfuls of snacks throughout the trip the last thing I got them was something more on the sweet side because these are all fairly healthy snacks at least to me and my kids so I got them some candy which I just chose high chews which are literally mess free they don't stick to their teeth and it doesn't have a bunch of like um, dyes in it and so this is like a snack that we will let our kids out so that's literally all the snacks that i'm packing aside from water the only other thing i think i want to pack is going to be some peanut butter and jelly to make them sandwich so i think i'm going to buy a loaf of bread and i'm going to just bring the peanut butter and the jam that we have throw the jam in the ice chest and i can easily just make them a sandwich on the road for them to eat so that's it for as far as snacks so stay tuned for their clothes and my clothes and all the toys and things that i'm going to be bringing for their entertainment and for our stay out of state
Okay, get out, knock it off. <laughs> Today is Saturday morning. It's about 10 o'clock and I'm trying to get things prepped and ready for tomorrow morning. Um, I just put some clothes in to wash, which are mine. And once those are done, I'll be packing my stuff. But I want to just quickly talk about the things I packed for the kids yesterday. I kind of showed me preparing their clothes, but I did not talk about it. So here's all of their clothes. I have... Just put them all out. Their outfits, their sweaters. Um, I have this little like sleeper thing that opens up and the baby could sleep on the floor, but there's like a padding. I have a blanket for her to sleep at night, and then I have like a smaller travel blanket. I have their pajamas, everything here. And so, hey, love, be careful. And so, um, I'm actually going to have Pedro get my suitcase out from the garage so I can start putting things inside. I also have underwear, socks. All I'm packing is one pair of shoes each and a pair of sandals. And so, my main priority when packing their clothes was to make sure their travel day outfit was comfortable and that I had an extra outfit um, nearby. So, like, probably and like their little tote I told you guys, I told you guys about I'll probably keep an extra outfit just in case they make a mess or if we have any accidents and then I wanted to make sure their traveling home outfit is comfortable wearing shoes and pants and a sweater in case the plane is cold and so everything else is just kind of like um, little outfits for the week It's Sunday morning, the car's packed, the kids are up, and they're eating breakfast. And we're gonna head out soon. Good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> no, don't play with your milk. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I gotta open it. She's not used to the seat forward, that's I probably I need to put it on this side, on the bottom one. Can you get out, Mama? No, I don't like it. It's okay. Mommy's going to be with her right here in the front. I'm going to be right in front of you, Ayla. I'm going to be right in front of you. You're okay. Here you go, princess. Give me a kiss. That's you, yeah, you gotta yeah, put your we're leave, on, we're leaving, Papa. Yeah, we we're leaving, Daya. You gotta have it on. Calm down. No, no. Daya, this you always like a... wear a seat. Yeah. It is 2 o'clock. We've been driving for 6... We've been on the road for 6 hours. We've ate breakfast, just finished lunch. The kids have napped. We're getting gas for the, sec for the first time since we actually left. And we are now in Nevada. Little hiccups, Ayla whining, Jodai got sick, but pretty good overall. doing a, another check-in for tonight it's seven o'clock we just ate something for dinner the kids are now in their pajamas they're gonna go meet me soon yeah. I'm actually Daddy. gonna drive for the rest of the night like until like probably 11 or 12 I don't know 
I saw you, Aida. But once again, I think I said we're putting gas. Second time filling up. You want water, Ayla? Okay. We got Ayla driving. Daya crying. It's midnight in Idaho. I just finished driving. I'm going to take a nap while my mom finishes up for the early morning shift. We're getting gas for the third time and we're about to keep on driving. <laughs> That's not your water, Ayla. I'm gonna rub his tummy because it hurts.